Hi, everybody. So today we're going to be talking about three big things. But first, I want to give you a little bit about myself. So who am I? So as Zach said, I am the founder of Classbind. Now, Classbind is a company that's making it easy for students, teachers, and parents to connect in a safe, secure, and educational environment. Now, next, I'm a student. I'm a student at Palisades Charter High School, a 16-year-old senior. And lastly, I'm a Huffington Post blogger. So I believe that these three experiences have taught me something very special. They've given me a unique insight into the world of education that I tr will try to convey to you through my presentation today. So not only do I have three big questions, I have three big answers. So now, first, how can we use technology in the classroom? Secondly, how do we use technology in the classroom? And lastly, who will build the technology for the classroom? So first, how can we use technology in the classroom? So first off, let me start by saying, technology is very underutilized in the classroom. So much so that teachers are not using the resources that are at their disposal. So one common misconception is that Technology costs money. Now, public schools and private schools honestly think that using technology will not decrease costs, but increase them. But in fact, it's the opposite. See, by using things like the cloud and websites like Dropler, Cloud, Box.net, teachers can upload documents to the cloud and the students can download them at home saving the school so much money on printing ink, on paper, on staples, on all these things that really shouldn't be the school's cost. Next, it saves time and it also saves effort. These teachers should not be focused on printing and handing out documents. They should be focused on teaching the kids. And that's something that I think we've lost track of in the translation to the digital age. We don't see technology the way we should. And I'd really like to change that. So now let's talk about how we do use technology. And I have some bad news for you guys. Majority of schools don't. And this is something that's really a problem. And we really need to try and fix this. But I also have some good news. I was lucky enough to attend an elementary school with Zach, of course. and. We attended a school that was really great, a school that embraced technology. They were actually one of the first schools to use Apple's one-to-one -one program, which hands out laptops to all the students on the campus. And, Apple's, and Apple still gives laptops to Merman, which is the school I attended, and Merman gives them to the students, and they can actually choose to take those laptops home with them. They can use them in class to take notes. They can use them in class to use online resources, and really better their education. Now, that's the good news. So I also said the bad news earlier, but now we have some more good news. So who will build technology for the classroom? Now, as most of you might have already realized, I believe it's students. I don't only believe it, I know it. Because going a little off topic here, not really off topic, on a tangent, I was outside there, and I was staying with my friend Daniel, and just in the short period of 20 minutes, I say at least five students came up to him asking how they could help, how they could start a company, how they could further their ideas. And I just thought this was incredible. You know, I was going to talk about how many technology startups there are that teens are starting in the outside world, but look at just in this room how many people are ready and willing to help and make the world a better place. And we really are not noticing that. Parents need to start acknowledging this in their children. It's not only the fault of the teachers. Parents need to further their kids and encourage their kids to go after their dreams. If they want to do something, you need to let them do it. Encourage them. Now, this is, this is something else. So how can I get involved? Now, how could you get involved as a student? So firstly, contact your school. Tell them, tell them, pressure them, pressure them. Because they listen, regardless of whatever you think. 
The principals listen. The teachers listen. They don't want an unhappy student body. They want you guys to be happy. They want you guys to learn. And if you tell them that, they will listen. So I really encourage all of you to email your teachers, talk to your principal, really encourage them to use things like Google Documents to collaborate and do documents together. Use things like the cloud. Use technology to help make your learning experience better. Now, thank you guys so much. I hope that this helped learning. And you can email me if you have any questions. I'm also going to be here afterwards if you have any questions. Thank you guys so much.